hi guys welcome welcome back to my channel it's your girl coco with the flow you already now and welcome back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't even know what dance that was honestly speaking so let's get into the video of today today i am going to be reacting to bounty hunter d for those who don't know he's like um he has a youtube channel he's like a private investigator if someone is cheating he's the one that's hired and then he goes and finds out for you he records the whole thing and it's very juicy and it's very nice and he also does a like detector test ah oh, god it's it's dreasy honestly i stopped watching his show for like a minute because i was like this is not good for my mental health uh, it was really affecting me i was i was getting very negative <laughs> and so i'd say even me i'll get a pi if a nigga does me dirty if i just if, 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 if i get if i feel it but then i was like you know it's a pi you are getting on a job it's just another way of it wash our room but anyways so now that's what we'll be reacting to so let's get into the bloody fucking video okay so thank you for coming in uh k what's going on Corey? hey how's it going, how man? going? i'm d hi nice to meet nice you nice to meet you this is my wife jami hi. that's hi. ivan back there and that's drama jr right there i'm a private hi. investigator thank you for coming in thank you uh the reason that you're here is Corey hired us to find out uh What's going on in your relationship? Uh, you're oh, here today to do a lie detector test, and I just need your consent on these cameras uh, that you'll do that yes. and to take the test. So. Yes, you have my full consent. I know exactly why I'm here. We have your oh, full you consent, like right now? To yes. Do it? You yes. knew. You you knew. Yes. That yes. You I know. To yes. Take the he test? talks about this all the time. This has got to be oh. the first oh. time that someone has actually like, like didn't fight us to do a lie detector test. Oh no. First off. I feel like if you just like bombard your partner with a lie detector test, I feel like that's crazy, right? A lot of people are like, what? In this year, Nairobi, but let's just watch. I'm a faithful woman and I'm here to prove that. Nothing high. Damn. That's, well, that's real that's, that's talk. That's good. Okay, so Corey, this I is mean, like a little different for us, man. Um, Why why is she here today? It just seems like, like we got a huge separation in between us that's kind of causing us to not want to be intimate anymore or you know like I, i'll do stuff for her like cook and clean and make sure that she has something good to watch on tv when she gets home you know what i mean but just and make sure she has something good to watch on tv what do you mean you know it's just it's just not the same anymore you know okay, have you talked to her about it i mean i'll talk to her about it all the time but it just seems like we're kind of like on two different paths right now let me just start by saying the thing about Bounty Hunter D, that's him and his wife, by the way. Bounty Hunter D, the PI guy, and his wife, the big guy with the tattoos, and then that's his wife. Mind you, these guys already know if someone has cheated or not prior to them bringing them here for the light detector test. The light detector test is just like to hoodwink someone. I mean, so someone can just look like a fala. Okay, this good. Now let's get back. You seem very genuine, right? Yes. You came in and. You know, like I said, I'm still in that shock factor yeah, that she cause... wants to take the test. Man, usually when people come in, they have something to hide, man. They have a problem with it. And, them. you know, they fight that. Just from her demeanor, I don't know, you know, what the test is going to say, but just from her demeanor, you know, she doesn't strike me as a person that is, like, unfaithful in terms of how they're behaving when they get in here. Is there a reason why, you, you know, you guys aren't being intimate together? I mean... Honestly, yeah, I've, honestly, I've been working a lot. I picked up so many more hours at work just to keep the household running. And I mean, I feel like he should understand. He he always wants to have sex. It's always this and that. I need rest. I need my own free time. At the end of the day, like I work too, you know, and you know I'm tired too, but I still make time. Well, for hold it. on, let me just just so I can clarify, because I'm not yeah. sure. Is it just based off intimacy that like she's not getting busy with you that's what this whole thing is about there's nothing else I mean, no, is she it's... hiding her phone from you is she coming mm -hmm. home late from work is she leaving early from work did you smell men cologne on her or i mean is there anything else let's just get to the yes. test let's just do it okay yes. all right so okay. um, i'm gonna have you wait out outside and then we're going to go ahead and set everything up and we're gonna get the light detector test going that's all right fine. let's do it Okay, so I'm going to ask you a series of questions. All I need you to do is answer yes or no. 
Don't give me any excuses, and I just need you to look forward. Don't look at my computer or anything else around you. And I'm just going to uh, look at the monitors here, okay? Okay. Okay, so we're going to start right now. Is your name Kay? Yes. Is your boyfriend's name Corey? Yes. Do you fantasize about other men while being intimate with Corey? No. Are you having unprotected with anyone other than your boyfriend, Corey? No. Are you having protected with anyone other than Corey? No. Have you engaged in group since you've been with Corey? No. Have you allowed anyone to give you money, male or female, for or attention? No. Who's going to say yes, though? Who's going to say yes? Um, have you engaged in group sex? Yes. Who? Who? But you know what? I like it. I like it. Why I like it is because it's like so na danganya, una danganya. What I need danganya. Do you need evidence? Let's continue. Okay, so um, Corey, we just finished the lie detector test with Kay, and uh, Kay, I usually ask people when they come in my office, um, if there's anything that they want to, I'm not saying that she's guilty, but is there anything that perhaps, you know, you came in very confident, you're willing to take the test. Is there anything that you might have second thoughts about because you've just taken this test that possibly you can come clean about? No, I have nothing, nothing to come clean about. Let's just get right to the answers then yes. here. Q and A. All right, I asked uh, Kay a series of questions. Uh, she had to answer in a yes or no. I asked if her name was Kay. She says yes. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. I asked, is your boyfriend's name Corey? She said yes. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. So so far so good. She's passing everything. I asked in the past thirty days, have you used the internet to meet other men? She says no. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. She's passing. I asked, are you having unprotected? With anyone else other than Corey, she says no. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. So then I tried to flip it, right? Because I noticed she's passing everything. So, you know, some people, you know, that's why I ask, have you taken a lie detector test before to see, hey, you know what, Ivan? We've seen people try to beat these, right? Yeah. I asked, are you having protected with anyone else other than Corey? She says no. Lie detector test determined what, baby? No, it's the truth. That's the truth, man. Um, I asked, have you engaged in group We're trying to find out if she's been extra naughty since you've been with Corey. She says no. Lie detector test determined. That was the truth. First off, can you imagine someone cheating on you and having orgies? My friend, not even for the Barabaras. You are the Barabara. You are the fucking Barabara. When you love me. When you love me. Anyways, trying to learn. Basically, I mentioned, are you allowing other people to pay you for, for gifts, right? That's cheating, too. She says no. Lie detector test determined what, sweetheart? And that was the truth. And the last question that you wanted to know, Corey, is why you contacted us. I asked, are you cheating on Corey? Because she can pass everything. But if she gets this one wrong, then there's, a, there's something going on. She says no. Lie detector test determined that was the truth. She was as calm as she is right now so she was i not... think like maybe something's wrong to test or something like that listen i i asked these questions why does he want her to cheat you know it's like either she's really good at being the damn test or she's just innocent and he's paranoid come here let me show you the graph are you serious let me show you the graph do you see this right here this is when i first started when we hooked her up to the machine right you know what's even worse you know a lot of people who do cheat be paranoid as fuck. Not that he's cheating on the bitch. And that's why he's paranoid as shit. He really wants her to cheat because he doesn't want to look like the bad guy. Let us look at the video. Let me not be skeptical. Look at her test. Every question I asked, there's no spikes. There's no jumps. Every question she passed, bro. The things that you're thinking about right now in terms of, you know, her cheating on you, I think that what paranoia yeah i would say paranoia insecurity or perhaps or, or maybe else? yeah maybe something else you got a good girl bro and that's rare to find thank you you got a good ass girl bro which leads me to this Corey, you brought k in here for a lie detector test right right and this is something out of the ordinary we don't usually do this but we follow her around she's doing exactly what she's supposed to do 
So then my wife had a great idea that I never, like, usually would do. But she's filled with great ideas. Exactly. She said what? Let's follow him. So we decided to follow Let's you around. Let's see what quick. we found about him. Yeah. Well, this is, you know, because we couldn't find anything on her. And you sounded so paranoid with me over the phone. Man, D, she got to be cheating on me, man. She, yeah. You know, she got to be cheating. I said, man, come on in. Let's talk about it. You didn't really give me a reason why you thought she was. So perhaps do you think I found anything out? Are you curious to know what we found out? So you're not cheating on her. Hell no. And I'm so not trying to like flip this up. Yeah. I'm not trying to flip this around on you, but I'm just asking you this. Are you cheating on her? Nah, bro. You're not cheating on her at all? I'm cheating. I'm faithful, man. Okay. All right, so I guess we didn't find anything, right? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. No, we did. Go ahead, Ivan. Let me show you something, bro. Yes. What's, what's going on? I'm going to tell you what's going on right now. You know what? I told you I had information on Corey. That's his girlfriend right there. Yeah, yeah. You hire me to find out about her, and it's you. No. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Right now, nigga, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yo, 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 yo. Yanni, you brought the bitch in because you thought she's cheating. And it's you. And then, oh, yeah, Mingyana Fujota, do you She wants to beat the bitch up. Let me tell you something. Yanni, let me tell you there's some shit that I cannot take. First off, if that's my nigga, I'm slapping the fuck out of his bitch. Huh? I'm slapping him. I'm not gonna slap the bitch. I'm just gonna, like, push her head to the side. Like, you know, don't, don't come at me, bitch. That's my man. Best believe I'm smacking the shit out of his head. I'll smack the fade off that motherfucker's head. Because Yanni, um, my friend. Wait, I don't condone violence. Wait, wait. That's not what I stand for here. Ah, but I will smack a nigga on the head. Because you're stupid. You're stupid as fuck. Oh my god, are you crappy? I, I don't even know what to say. Are you crappy? <laughs> Twendere. Chick, I'm his chick. Who what? is that? Oh, you know exactly. You know exactly, know, you know exactly who she is. You know exactly who she is. Yo, man, I paid you. Because he, he got caught like that, he's pushing the nigga. Oh, this is why I stopped watching him. Just a bounty hunter D. I'm, I'm pissed. I'm so fucking mad. Like, I'm, I'm heated right now. Jesus. Can I get up? No, you can't get up. You stay there, homie. You assaulted me. You assaulted me. You stay right there. Oh, you would have whooped me? You really? That? You feel that? Now, how does it feel having two tasers on you, homie? You want to assault me again? I should taser. Get up. Get out of my office, man. Get out of my office, you little bi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You deserve this. This right here. The truth. He thought it was you. We found out it was him. We found out it was him. And I did it for free for you. You can thank my wife. She's the one that came up with the idea. I'm sorry this happened to you. I'm yes, really that's sorry. That's right. That's why he was like, oh yeah. my God, let me see. He asked Jeez. me all the time. I know. Are you cheating? Are right. you cheating? Normally, that's, it was that's what happened. Yeah, and because people don't realize his, that. Yeah. The one that's accusing and accusing and accusing, oh, you're cheating on me, you're cheating yeah. on me. That's the person that usually that is, is doing, doing the it. cheating. Yes, that is the, that's the person that is doing it. You are a very good person. You go to your job. You went to your mom's house, right? The one you was talking about below bare minimum at her issue. When she comes home, she finds the right uh, show on, on TV. What the fuck kind of shit is that? What the fuck does that do is shit? What the fuck? At the right show on the TV. Wow, thank you. What the hell is this? Why do I pre-record? Ciao, fella. I can't even jump. <laughs> this show can have you hiring a PI. God give you the discernment. Smell your person a PI. So the petrol discernment. <laughs> You are such an amazing person. You went to the library. Yeah, yeah. You were, we even saw you. Listen, you're such a good, kind-hearted person. We saw you when you were reading those books to those kids in the library. Thank you. you volunteer doing that, don't you? You're a great person. You don't need a bum like that. You, deserve you don't need this guy. You deserve something better than that. Absolutely. Yes, he is not, oh, not even worthy to cry. 
So stop that. How did you get here? Did you guys drive or you drove home? Okay. So we're gonna so, figure out yeah. a way to get you home, okay? Yes. Let me tell you, that's that bullshit. That's that fucking bullshit. This was a very sad episode. And then the the chick disappeared. I'm also focused on something else. Where did the white chick go? And then how she came ready for violence. Damn. Yes, I know. When you're in this situation, you never know how you'll act. You know, because you just feel like you've, you, you know, you've been betrayed. And cheating causes trauma. So you're just feeling some type of way. But, Jesus, assess the area, bitch. You don't even know what's happening in Nigeria too. Who's this bitch? Who are you? Ay, where, where? Ay, ay. Chillax. You're fighting a nigga who's whack. He brought in his bitch to see if she's cheating because he's cheap. With you. Mm. Uh, I like how they followed him though. The wife. And if you up, she said, hey, this chick is alright. I put fat him say, Kumbi, this nigga is just doing a chocolate vanilla swirl. <laughs> Honestly, someone could actually just be really insecure as fuck. And that's why they keep on saying, are you cheating on me? Because they've probably been cheated on back in the day. But the main reason... That person is probably Nini out there getting theirs, and so they're like, Hey, you even knew you must be getting yours. Aye. Anyways, she ain't right. His wife, can't get it. She ain't right. It's not good. So that was the episode. If you want me to do more reactions to Bounty Hunter Day, let me know. Let me know. And yeah, I can do some more because, um, his content is interesting. Granted, after this, I may need to watch like a cartoon or something. Just or like a comedy show, something to to brighten my mood, cause this was ah, there was a lot of negativity happening in the hair. I love you guys. Till next week.